What is going on guys? So uh, this is just going to be a little video. It's going to be kind of a talking video so you don't really have to watch. And I know a lot of people don't like these videos. So if you're one of those people that doesn't really care, you know, by all means this video is not for you. So uh, basically I'm just going to talk about things, talk about the future and whatnot. It's been a while since we've done one of these uh, videos where we talk about what we're going to be doing and everything like that. So I feel like this is probably the perfect time, especially after a major event like that. So, um, um, so in terms of like what we're doing next, in terms of content... I know that the, 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 the things we've been telling people a while back uh, was pretty consistently solo raids, comp cape, and whatnot. And then Dragon Slayer 2 content came out, and that's sort of taken uh, precedent. So that's, that's going to be the next thing is Dragon Slayer 2. I'm going to start working on that tonight. And when you'll see that is most likely towards the weekend, if not the next one. So my dog's barking. Hopefully she doesn't. She stops. Let's open these up. Um, you might be seeing some spoilers. I don't really know. Uh, try to use the wrong damn key. Uh, so the recent update was the 500... Oh, that yells. That's fun. The recent update was the 500 mil capes. Let's go get one. All these people sitting here. It's interesting to see people enjoying the fashion scape nowadays. Uh, people not people used to not really care about fashion scape, but it seems like these people have, uh, you know, got their little outfits. You can see some of the 500 mil capes right here. We have thieving. Um, that dude right there, Ethan, uh, has uh, defense. Or was that in the magic? I'm stupid. Uh, you caught to Megan over here, and there you go. Uh, the coolest ones, in my opinion, we got the mining cape, the fire making cape, Slayer capes cool. They're honestly they're all cool. There's a couple of them that there's a couple issues we're working on, but uh, for the most part they all function. Uh, what, what which ones do I have? I have HP. I definitely have range. I feel like I think I think range was one of the ones that was messed up. I'm actually not 100 percent sure about that. I might actually go for the fire making one because the fire making one does look good, and it's. Um, I think it actually might be interesting to watch. Like I'm, I might actually make like a, a separate video on that, because I added a bonfire method for um, numulite and whatnot, and it would be interesting to see how many numulite, how much numulite I get in the process of going for 500 mil fire making. And I think double experience is still on right now. It's not supposed to be, but we've uh, we've redid how we. Uh, Dark, Dark Breed did how we were doing double experience, and in that process, we've created a command, but currently there's a couple issues with it, so we're working on that, but yeah, if you join right now, there is double experience, but I, it's going to end whenever it ends, so just keep that in mind. Let's, uh, um, HP, attack, range, and that was it, right? Those are the three, uh, <laughs> uh I am going to work on perks for all of the master capes and skill capes, I'll probably do it with skill capes as well. Uh, we're going to need a lot of ideas for that, so whenever I start working on that, I'll probably make a forum post and have everybody post their ideas, because obviously some skills are easier to come up with ideas for other, like a fire making cape, what the hell is that going to do? Like, I, I mean, I, my, my immediate thought would be maybe if you wear it while you're doing Numulite shit, you get more Numulite or something like that, but I don't know if that's even worth it, because I mean, like, 500 mil fire making, what are you doing at that point? But that's definitely one of the ones I'm going to go for. For now, just so we have one, let's get hit points. Hit points is fine. It's nice. They look pretty good, look pretty clean. Uh, if you notice, there is one small minor issue if you are wearing nothing. If you look at this dude who has the, uh, well, I guess that's not even a good example because he has the, uh, he doesn't even have one on. Where was that dude who had the, oh, the chicken right here. Does that look good? Yeah, that looks fine. It, lo it looks like it's attached to his shoulders. If you don't have anything on, it kind of looks like it's hovering above you. Because I believe the RS3, I think the RS3 model, I, I, I think it was, it was made, a dude made him. Um, it's hard for me to give you really any information on them because I have nothing to do with it. Dark talked to the dude, and then Dark did everything else. He, you know, realigned them and everything, so it's kind of, a, you know, bad for me to talk. But uh, I'll uh, hop on Jamie towards the end of the video, and I'll just show you what some of the other ones look like. But uh, they're pretty cool. I mean, you can see them. You can you can see what, it looks look, what it's going to look like on your back. So we'll rock this one now. And I got to sort of figure out how to make some uh, log money. I don't have... I mean, I have, like, a bunch of U logs from the... Uh, you know, rare drop people and whatnot, but I only have this many reds, and obviously I'd like to do it the most experience possible, because I do want to go for the Father Mill Fire Making. And eventually, I'd like to go for Father Mill All. I really wasn't going to, it wasn't in, in my original plans, but with these capes, it, they look so cool, I kind of want to do it now, so I'm going to probably attempt that. Um, as for the event, I really didn't get to do the event much, I was mostly focused on getting the damn event out, and then been going through some other things in real life. Um, if you've been keeping track of the server you know that this is actually my best server we've ever had by far and with that comes new things that i've never experienced before so i'm still trying to figure that shit out in real life um it's 
interesting to say the least. We're still going strong. It is four o'clock on a Wednesday. Sixty-three people on that. That's pretty good. Um, I I always feel bad when I say how many players I like because most people don't like that answer. Honestly, this player count right here is perfect. That's I, I'm perfectly happy with this for the rest of our days. Uh, but we we do we do intend to grow and whatnot because I know that you guys want to have a you know the more players the more fun essentially. And uh, with more players, we can get PKing active. I know the main issue with PKing right now is not even PKing. It's 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 not even like players not wanting to PK. It's PKing being kind of broken. That's the issue. We gotta fix that. So I have a couple points to talk about before we get too time, you know too uh, rambly. Um, so the first one is what are we doing now? I mentioned that the plans originally were raids and comp cave and all that, and that that's kind of taking a step back. So. Um, Anything I say is obviously subject to change. It's not set in stone. I'd like to be more open and um, I'd like to get, you know, we have a calendar on the forums that we don't really use effectively. And I'd really like to sort of uh, let people know when updates are coming out and stick to the update, you know, stick to that time. Because honestly, <laughs> I'm known for delays. Even this event was delayed. And it's, it's just one of those things where it's going to happen. As long as everything is good when it's out, I'm not really bothered. And it seems like the event was, the event was kind of overpowered. Uh, that's more so just the way it was. It was a uh, skilling event. Skilling events are going to be that way. I, I think really, we just I don't I don't I just don't know if we can do skilling events. At least not ones that are very easy to cheat, because we've found a lot of cheaters. But there's probably some people that that slip through the cracks. And honestly, I think there's a couple people that really just grinded out the event like 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 six seven hours a day the entire time it was out, and they got bank. So it was a very good event. So, uh, if you did do it, I hope you, you know. I hope you got your loots and whatnot. I don't want to. I don't know why it, it looted these. These are can, anything I can disassemble. I'm not gonna sell that shop. Um. So yeah. All right. So the next thing we're gonna be doing, the very, very, very next thing, the next update you're gonna see, and you'll, you'll probably see some. I'm not talking about like mini bug fixes because I'll probably do a small update tonight. That's just kind of fixing things I forgot to fix in the last update. So I'm not. I'm not talking about those. I'm exclusively talking about the big updates. So the next one you're going to see is Dragon Slayer 2 content. I'll talk about my ideas a little bit because, you know, it's it's always fun to build up a little hype and let you guys know what's going on. Uh, so the first thing with Dragon Slayer 2 is going to be the Adamant and Rune Dragons. Uh, so what I'm going to do with those is I'm going to, you know, the Chew, the chew to Bone, the Mythal Dragons drop. I'm going to sort of make that a lot better. And uh, you'll basically, whenever you, like, do it, you'll, you'll basically do the same thing you do in RuneScape, and you'll have a chance for Dragon Full Helm, you'll have a chance, I'll add some other things as well. Um, the new Dragon items, such as the Plate Body, the Kite Shield, and the uh, Crossbow, is that the other one? Yeah, I believe those are the three, right? Uh, those will be partially accessible through it. You know, I'm not sure exactly what the rates are going to be, or, or what the actual drops will be, but, you know, the same things you can expect from old school we're going to do, and I'll do it a little bit different. So I'm pretty stoked about that. I think uh, Adamant and Rune Dragons have a lot of potential. And that's easy. In fact, that might actually come out sooner than the other things. If not, they'll come out together, but that's part of that. And then you have Volkaref, or however you pronounce it. That's the big blue dragon that everybody knows and loves. That'll be out. Uh, the stuff that comes with it, the Dragonfire Ward, the range the range DFS, basically. The, um, the Dragon Bay Necklace. That might be a question mark. I kind of have to look at that and see what we can do with it. Uh, the... Uh, What's I'm gonna call it? The uh, if it's a similar will be the head. Basically, I'll just have it drop the head, the same as old school, and you can attach the head to the, you know, to the the if it's d device or whatever it is right now. And then also the new Slayer Helm will be there as well. And um, is there anything I'm forgetting? I, I'll I'll double check and look on the wiki and make sure I'm not forgetting anything. But that's the gist of what that's gonna be, and that'll be coming out very soon. I don't know if you can see this. You can probably see the activate Windows thing. Should probably like scoot that up a little bit just so that's not annoying you. I feel like that probably would have already annoyed you though. Um, I don't. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be this weekend. Honestly, I don't even know if it's gonna. Anywhere from like, anywhere from like the 14th to the 20th is when I would expect it to come out. Um, it could come out sooner. It could come out later. Like I'm just giving you a rough idea. I don't like giving people exact dates anymore because honestly, those have. I haven't been able to stick to them, so it's like, why even give you an update? You know, if people people think it's going to happen and it doesn't happen, it's a sad panda. So I don't really like to give people updates anymore, but that is the... Uh, or I, <laughs> dates and when the update is coming out, I should say. So we'll uh, we'll have more information on that one that soon. Uh, and then there, there'll be a couple other things with Dragon Slayer 2 content, but nothing, um, nothing big. So after that's done, we're really sort of uh, free to do what we want. 
Now, this is, you know, I've done servers before, you guys know that, and one of the issues that always came up was something along the lines of, why are you creating new content when there's still bugs in game? I got that every single time, and every single time somebody would say that, I would want to kill myself, because that's the most annoying question I've ever heard. I understand where you guys are coming from, where the players are coming from. Oh, why are you adding new content if there's still issues? The thing you have to remember, and this is the thing I would say to every single person, was that we have different developers doing different things. I create most of the content, and I run the actual server itself. Dark does some of the bigger picture things. So a lot of these issues that are not fixed are either one, just not worth fixing. Things like a unholy book, a damage book, so it doesn't even have stats going on your head. Stuff like that, something I would never fix. At least not like go out of my way to fix it. Like I, I would fix it. It's just one of those things where it has to be added on to other things. It's not like I'm just going to do a deliberate update to fix that and then release that and then that's your fucking update. And then there's the bigger issues, stuff like banks crashing. Um, there's a current issue with Ultimate Iron Man, how sometimes... I think it's related to if uh, they get a pet. I think it's if they get a pet or something that's sent to their bank is what's causing them to null. But there's an issue like that, and that's obviously something Dark have to fix. So... I'm responsible for content, and he's responsible for some of the bigger content, and then those those fixes and whatnot. But he's a busier person than I am. He goes to college and whatnot. I don't. So he's got a lot less time to be doing these things. So that was always my excuse, was that it was going to have to be fixed by him, and whenever he can get around to it, he'll fix it. And um, I, I think nowadays it's just not going to work anymore. The server's too, it's too big and it's too popular. You know, I never really had a server this successful, and we have to, we're going to have to start working on those little things. So what we're going to do is... Uh, I'm gonna take for the next month after the Dragon Slayer 2 con after the Dragon Slayer 2 content comes out, we'll, we'll start then. We're gonna get all of the bugs together, get a big old fat list, and I'm gonna try to do, to do my best to fix those, even the ones that I don't think I'll be able to fix. I'm gonna at least take a look and see if I can either fix it somehow or you know make it better or add some sort of ghetto workaround. As long as whatever the issue is can be resolved, I'll I'll try to fix it. And anything I can't do, anything that's above my head. Dark will do, because Dark is obviously the better coder, so anything big, he'll be done. Um, so I think I think that's really important. We were going to take, we were going to do this um, a while back, around uh, when we had like 40 players or so, we, we discussed maybe just doing a bug update fix, uh, spend a full month working on bugs, but we just decided that the server was kind of, the server at that point in time had like low 40s, mid 40s, um, and like our peak was, our, like our highest player count when, when it's like 1 p.m. my time would be around 50 60 and now that's 50 60 during lower times so we're we're a lot better off now there's a lot more people interested in the server we've got you know we've gotten a couple of advertisements that have worked out pretty well you guys have probably seen so i think we're at a point now where the server can kind of sustain itself for um you know people people they've got things to do and there's enough people to play with and everyone's having fun times and, and all that so we should be able to spend the month doing that. I think, honestly, I think people will appreciate it. I know it's one of those things where bug fixes are not sexy. You know, I can't make a bug fix video and, you know, have like a bunch of players join the server because we just fixed a bunch of bugs. That's never, that never happens. But it, it's, it's something that needs to be done. And I think we're going to, I think it's the time to do it. I think, I think we can spare a month to focus on that. Um, there will be an Easter event. Uh, I don't know. That'll sort of, that'll probably be happening before the bug fixes We'll probably start around the same time. In fact, that update, you'll probably see some bug fixes, the first the first handful of things we managed to accomplish. And that'll be around the first. I haven't decided if I'm going to release it early or just release it on the first and then keep it for two weeks or something like that. Undecided, you'll know when I know, when, I, when I've decided or when we've all decided, you know. I always ask in the staff chat for opinions and whenever, that, whenever we have anything to give you, we'll give you. So, after the uh, bug fix update... Uh, I sent Dark this idea for a title system. Basically, right now with titles, let me... Do I even have any titles? I believe I, I probably have a couple. Maybe in this tab. This is my comp cape tab. So, for Bando's title right here, for example. So, if you kill Bando's, you have a 1 in 300 chance of getting this title. And most people know that the title was originally going to be used to unlock a comp cape. This would be needed for comp cape. So, that's the thing. If you have it, don't panic. But, what we're going to do... What we're gonna do is uh, I, I pitched him this idea, and basically it's gonna be like an interface, something along the lines of like this. Maybe it's not gonna look anything like this. I'm just saying like an interface, and it'll store all of your titles for you. So uh, basically, we're gonna create uh, anywhere from like 50 to 75 to 100, somewhere around that number of titles, and most of them will be like the the, the Bandos title will obviously be the same, and it'll function similarly. So you kill Bandos, you get you know this, you get this drop. What you would do is when you read it, it would 
uh, unlock the title. So now you can open this interface. You can do, you know, however we have this interface accessible. You'll open it, and then if you wanted that title, you can click activate. And you'll be able to see all of your titles. They'll be red if you don't have it, green if you have it. And for Comp Cave, you'll need all of them. And there'll be a lot of different ones. Like, there'll be one for raiding, um, the raiders. And uh, you'll have to do something with raids. We'll make a lot more. And even smaller ones that are easy. Just, you know, go punch a man in the fucking face. Ha-ba! And that'll be one. You know, just random stuff like that. So, And then there'll be around 50. And that'll be one of the main things you need for Comp Cave. And with that... I actually got a spiny one. That's funny. And with that, the achievements, which have been kind of wonky. If you notice, it says I've completed 44, even though there's a total of 45. And if I scroll down, it's all going to be green. Um, we're going to redo that system, make sure all of them are functioning correctly. And then we want to add an elite achievement system. Once those two things are done, the elite achievements and the title system, we can release CompCape. CompCape only will require the access. You'll have to complete all of the achievements. You'll have to, complete, you'll have to unlock every single title. And uh, most of the big hard titles everybody knows, but like I said, there will be some new ones. So you'll have to unlock all those, and then you'll have to have uh, a, a max cape, which I still don't have because I, I just haven't gotten any invention. I know everybody like everybody keeps PMing me. Oh, I'm blah blah blah. Invention, invention sucks. Everyone just got a bunch of money. Go train invention now. You have no excuses. You have no excuses. I I have no excuse. I have no. I have money too. I just I, I just just kind of lazy. I need to go. I need to go do it right now. In fact, let's uh let's maybe work towards disassembling some stuff. But yeah, and that'll be comp cape. Uh, and then Solar Raids. Did I talk about that? I, I, I had an original idea for Solar Raids, and it just didn't work out. And then now I have a new idea, and I, I, I like my new idea a lot more. It's going to be a lot simpler. It's not even necessarily going to be... It, yeah, I, I just I feel like it's going to go a little bit better than the, the original idea. So that'll be coming out soon. I would say probably... Um, I, I think we could probably get both of... I, I don't really know how hard the, the achievement things will be and the title system will be, because... I've sent Dark that now, so he knows that that's something we want to do, and he's, he's I believe at college he said he's going to look at it. And as for a time frame, I have no clue, because it's all on him. Uh, but I would hope that that would be done within the next two months. We can get all this stuff out, the Dragon Slayer 2 content, the uh, title system, the bug fixes, the Easter egg, uh, the Easter event, the, um, the what's it going to call it? Uh, what's the other one? Comp Cape, title system... Dragon Slayer 2, Raids, uh, that's, that's all of it. And then after all of that's done, and we're talking around June, June is actually when the server was released. So in June, that'll be our one-year anniversary. That'll definitely be my longest server. We've already hit my longest server, but I think my second longest server was my last one, Dark Asylum, which lasted around six months. And then this is at about nine months, ten months? I think it's at nine months. So we've made it a really long time. And around our one-year anniversary, I would like to release God Wars 2. So God Wars 2 is my real big... That's, that's my baby, you know. That, like, Invention was my, was my first child. It was my first child. And then God, 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 uh, God Wars 2 is going to be my second child. I think God Wars 2 will be well more, a lot more well-received. Because obviously it's just bosses and whatnot. I, I don't, it's not like a skill you have to spend all your money on and everything like that. And it's not... It's technically R3 because R3 has God of Wars 2. But I'm not really using any of their ideas. All of the ideas I'm creating on my own. I think I'm using... Um, I think I've decided on Saren, Zaros. I know... I, I actually haven't really decided on all four bosses I'm doing. Or all four guys, I should say. I know Zaros will definitely be one of them because you've already seen the Zerosian Scythe. I really love that. I'm probably going to code that, like, like now. <laughs> and then uh, I'll just, I don't know, I'll just show it off, I guess. It's going to be coded way before God of War 2 will come out, but that'll be how you'll get it. So hopefully in the summer when everybody's off school, you'll you'll be able to start off God of War 2 content. And then from that point, you know, we'll just, you know, stick with suggestions and whatnot. Somebody suggested on the forums, you know, I'm actually going to get his name because I want to give him credit for it. All right, so I got his name up. Triple XP is the dude. And he's got a couple of ideas here, but the one that I wanted to talk about was the idea for... Uh, gaining raid points from killing raid bosses. That's sort of what I was going to do with the... Uh, why did that spam so many times? This is a newer message, obviously. You guys have probably never seen this before. Whenever you rank up, it now yells it. Why did that spam, though? I have to look at that. Anyways, uh, so yeah, with the solo raids I do, I actually am going to... I think I'm going to snag his idea and create some sort of point system. And then I'll add the points to the actual bosses. So the bosses will be even worth more killing. Uh, somebody suggested it, and I, I just don't want to look for the post because I don't remember what post it was. I apologize. If you, you know who you are, whoever suggested adding raid boxes to the actual raid boxes, that was a good idea because now all the raid boxes is actually killed again. 
And um, the idea to, to keep removing the raid box from the donator store so it's not spam so much, that has worked out as well. So that's pretty cool to see that everybody's going on the raid boxes. In fact, there's actually so many people doing them that we might have to add more. But I'm thinking I'll, I'll, I'll wait to see what we, you know, what we do with that. Maybe I think I really think solo raids is where we should should um, focus on. But yeah, that's the uh, that's the immediate future after Dragon Slayer, after God Wars two, and the Slayer content and all that. Co co can't lost my train of thought mid sentence that I was trying to recover and I just couldn't. Whenever my dog barks, it like just destroys my brain. Like I'm about to go beat the shit out of her. Not really because I love my dog, but she's gonna she's gonna get stern talking to. But, uh, yeah, whenever God Wars uh, is done, God Wars 2 is done, I, uh, I don't know what we're doing next after that. Hopefully we'll have new ideas. And, uh, and the good thing about this is old school is always creating new content for us. <laughs> is they're always creating something we can s steal. So, I mean, like, this, like, like, for example, the Dragon Slayer 2 stuff, if that, wasn't, if that didn't exist, you know, you would be getting the bug fix right now. I don't know. if I, Some people probably prefer the bug fix. Some people probably prefer the content. It's just one of those things. Different people prefer different things, but... Hope you enjoyed. I uh, apologize for not making videos. Like I said, I got a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff going on. Lot going on. I can't talk anywhere. I did 20 minutes. That's that's the limit of me talking. Bye.